Hi all, I am Shweta Riti, Assistant Professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering from RMK College of Engineering and Technology. In this video, we are going to discuss about Java language fundamentals. The concepts which we are going to see under Java language fundamentals are Java tokens, constants, variables, data types, operators and expressions. We will see one by one in the next coming slides. First one is Java tokens. Normally what are tokens? Tokens are the smallest individual and logical unit of Java statements. There are five types of tokens in Java. They are reserved keywords, identifiers, literals, operators and separators. We will see all these types of Java tokens in the forthcoming slides. Now we are going to see the types of tokens. Under that the first one here is reserved keywords. Normally what are keywords? Keywords are nothing but the predefined words or otherwise they are called as reserved words. That is they cannot be used as an identifier. There are many keywords in Java. Some of them are listed below that is abstract, if, private, static, etc. I hope now you understood about the keywords. The second type of token is identifier. Uh, what are identifiers? Identifiers are normally used for naming class, uh, methods, variables, objects, packages, interface, etc. For naming an identifier, we can use digits, underscores, alphabets and dollar sign. Uh, we can use all these while naming an identifier. But we have to follow certain procedure or simply we can call it as certain rules. Certain rules to follow, uh, rules have to be followed for naming an identifier. First one is there should not be any space in between them. For example, see the exa uh, example that is second example there int a1. Between a and 1, there should not be any space. Okay, that is what the first rule. And second one is starting of an identifier should be alphabet. It should not be any number or digits. Third one is no special characters are used except underscore and dollar symbols. Fourth one is identifier name can be of any length. So these are the examples of an identifier that is a in int a and a1 in int a1 and student in class student are the identifiers. I hope it is clear. The next type under token is literals. What are literals? Literals are nothing but storing constant values. For example, look here we have int a is equal to 20 whereas int is nothing but the data type and now we have a. A is nothing but just now we have seen A is nothing but an identifier and then we have int A is equal to 20 and this 20 is the literal. Hope now you understood this. There are five types of literals. They are integer literal, floating point literal, boolean literal, character literal and string literal. Under tokens the next type is operators. Operators are nothing but the symbols. We will see the detailed content of operators in the next coming slides. Here we will see what are operators and what are the types of operators. Operators are just the symbols used in the expression. Types of operators are arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, assignment operator, increment operator, decrement operator, special operators and conditional operator. The last type under token is separator. Separators are nothing but dividing the group of code and arranging them systematically. We would need certain symbols and those symbols are nothing but separators. Hope it is clear. The table shows the different types of separators uh, we will use in the code for arranging and dividing the code systematically. The separators used are parenthesis, curly brackets, square brackets, semicolon, commas and period. Each separator has different uses such as parentheses are used to enclose argument, curly brackets are used for initializing an array, defining a block, etc. Square brackets are used for declaring an array, semicolon is used to terminate the statement, commas are used to separate the contents and the last one is period which is used to separate the package name from sub packages. Hope it is clear. Okay. Uh, now we have completed all about tokens. Uh, we will be moving to the next fundamental programming structure in Java. The next one is nothing but constants. Constant means fixed values and they do not change during the execution of a program. Okay, I hope it is clear. The Java constant is now divided into two types. They are numeric constant and character constant. Numeric constant 
is nothing but the numerical values and the character constant is nothing but they are represented by letters. Uh, numeric constants are further divided into two. They are integer constant and real constant. Integer constants are nothing but the sequence of digits and they are further divided into three. They are decimal integers, octal integers and hexadecimal integers. Whereas decimal integers is one which has numbers from 0 to 9. Example I can say like uh, 111, 555 etc. And octal integers is nothing but one which has numbers from 0 to 7 and the starting number must always be 0. Example, I could say 0, 3, 3, 0, 4, 3, 1, etc. And the next one is hexadecimal integer. Hexadecimal integer is nothing but one which has number from 0 to 9 and also a to f. Example, I could say 3af, 54a, etc. And the next type of constant under numeric constant is real constants. Real constants are nothing but the floating point numbers. Example, 0 0.45, 0 0.57, etc. Now, the numeric constant part under Java constant is over. Uh, I hope it is clear. Uh, the other division under Java constant is uh, character constant. Character constants are represented by letters. They are further divided into character constant and string constant. Character constants are single characters and they are represented in single quotes. T or U or S. Everything will be in single quotes. And string constants are collection of characters. That is like India and they are, will be represented in double quotes. And this is what about the constants. The next one is variables. What are variables? Variables are nothing but they are same like identifiers actually. That denotes the storage location and they must be declared before using. Remember this, they must be declared before using. There are certain rules for variables. Uh, they are, we should not use any digits. Next one is, no special characters are used except underscores. We should not leave any space between the names. The name should not be a keyword. And also the name should be meaningful. Example is int a comma b. The next one under fundamentals is data types. The data types available in Java are like byte, short, int, long, float, double, char, boolean, etc. And the width for this data types are for byte it is 8 bit, short it is 16 bit, int is 32 bit, long is 64 bit, float is 32 bit, double is 64 bit and char is 16 bit. Uh, we have uh, different ranges for these different data types and the declaration can be done like uh, uh, the name of the data type and an identifier. For example, I can say byte i comma j. Byte is nothing but the data type and i comma j is an identifier. And this is how we do the declaration. And coming to the float and double, it is single precision and double precision respectively. Single precision is nothing but it allows 6 or 7 digits after decimal. And double precision is nothing but it allows 14 or 15 digits after decimal. For example, 10 by 3, it gives 3.333, it goes on. And it gives 3.333333, that is 6 numbers after decimal. And similarly, for double precision, it allows 14 or 15 digits after decimal. And uh, the next one is boolean. Boolean is nothing but it either contains true or false. And this is what about data types and hope this is clear. The next one is operators. Various operators are available in Java are arithmetic operator, relational operator, logical operator, assignment operator, increment, decrement, special operators and conditional operators. In arithmetic operator, we can do basic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modulus. In relational operator, we can do comparisons like less than, greater than, less than equal to, greater than equal to, equal to and not equal to. And in logical operator, we have and operator and or operator. In assignment operator, we have equal to, which is assigned to something. For example, a equal to 2 means 2 is assigned to a. Then we have increment, decrement operators, which are increased and decreased by 1 respectively. Then we have two types of special operators. They are instance of operator and dot operator. To tell whether the object belongs to particular class or not, we will be using instance operator. And to access the instance variables, we will be seeing about the instance variables in the next coming videos. Now, remember that to access the instance variables, we use dot operator. Next, we have conditional operator. The syntax for conditional operator is condition, expression 1, expression 2. For example, I am taking a as 2 and b as 3. 
and I am having a condition like if A is greater than B, it's either true or false. Is A is greater than B? No, right? So it gives false. The last one is expression. Expressions are nothing but the combination of operators and operands. See here, I'm, I have used C is equal to A plus B into C. So this is an expression with the combination of arithmetic operators. And this is what about expressions. That is the combination of operators and operands. I hope this is clear. In this video, we have seen Java language fundamentals. Under that, we have seen about Java tokens, constants, variables, data types, operators and expressions. Hope you all have understood. Thank you all. Have a nice day.